passions. We never know when the opportunity to walk in those goals, dreams, and passions are going to happen. We don't know. We don't know the day. We don't know the time. We don't know the hour. So it's our job to make sure that when it happens, we are ready. I was a Toastmaster. Thank you for asking. I got to the to the district level of competing for the world champion of public speaking. And um, what's up, Jacob? And I'm about to jump back into the Toastmaster realm because I really want that title of world champion of public speaking. So I'm getting back into it. But in that, fr in that realm, if you're asking am I a Toastmaster, Toastmasters prepared me to be able to get on these scopes every single solitary day and make an impact on the lives of you all, make an impact on the lives of those that I talk to on a regular basis, on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's phenomenal. You made it to the finals in 2010. That's awesome. Um, shoot me a message on danielpferguson.com. I want to link up and, and get some of your, um, uh, your expertise on that. What's up, wifey? But yeah. Uh, that's awesome being inspired, really. Uh, Brian is a Toastmaster too, Growth Educator. He's a Toastmaster also. But hit me up, danielpferguson.com. I want to talk to you about that. That is awesome. What's up, MC? But you guys, you got to get, re stay ready so you don't have to get ready. You don't want to have to, the, the, your goals, your dreams, your passions are right in front of you where you can reach it, you can take it, you can go for it, but you're not ready. You haven't been doing the legwork. You haven't been doing something every single day towards your goals, towards your dreams, towards your passions. And then you step into that arena and you don't get it. Or you're not able to bring it to fruition because you haven't done your part. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Because at the end of the day, you don't know when it's going to happen, as I said. You don't know when someone is going to show you favor and give you the promotion, give you the job, um, give you the opportunity to get extra credit in school, give you the, the situation, the scenario. You don't know. Be like Spongy. <laughs> yeah, absorb it. Take it all in. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. What's up, Taylor Nation? And here's the thing. When you stay ready... Your mindset, your psyche, your belief is always looking for the opportunity to walk in your goals, your dreams, and your passions. And uh, as I've been saying lately, just uh, I guess my part of my theme for 2016 is get rid of that stinking thinking. As you're speaking it and speaking what you want to do and how you want to do it, and you're doing the action with it, because faith without works is dead. You could speak it all day long, you can believe it all day long, but if you're not doing something towards your dreams, your goals, your passions, it's not going to happen. Um, uh, he walks into work holding a spatula singing, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh, <laughs> yes. You know what? I was watching it with my kids the other day. And yes, he always, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. You have to be ready. Maybe that's the mantra to have. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's go. Making sure that you're doing the work. You can believe it all day. But if you're not doing the work, it's not going to matter because it won't, you won't be as successful as you want to be or as you can be if you're not doing something every single solitary day toward your dreams, your goals, your visions. As I've said for 2016, I've been challenging everybody to do two things every single solitary day toward your goals, dreams, and visions. So when the opportunity to walk in that and be successful comes, you're ready. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Trust me, your success is worth it. As I say all the time, everybody has the opportunity for success, but not everyone will reach success. Only those who do something every single solitary day will be ready so that when the opportunity to be successful in your hopes, your dreams, your goals comes, you have it in the bag and you can confidently step in there because the stinking thinking is gone because you believe that you can do it. You can believe that you can make it. You've been speaking it and it's just transforming your life. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's what, it's, that's what it's all about. And if your mind can't be renewed, speak it until all that stinking thinking is in one ear and out the other. In one ear and out the other. So that way you can walk in your God-given passion, your God-given dreams, and enjoy it and have fun. Um, so you're saying to get off this and do something productive. 100%. You gotta, you gotta do something productive. You have to do something toward your dreams. If your goal is to be a straight A student, you can say it all day long and you can believe it all day long. But if you're not doing your homework, if you're not doing the extra credit, if you're not going to the office hours, you're not going to be a straight A student. It's just that simple. If your goal is to, to become the, the manager of your department, what's up Raquel, and you are not um, 
talking with the teacher, if you are not asking questions or with your boss, if you're not learning how to do the budget, um, don't get off this LOL. So this is done. Get started. <laughs> um, uh, if you're not if you're not asking the boss questions and seeing how they did what they do, seeking out someone in the industry in the field where you want to be, so that way you can make it, it's going to be challenging for you to be successful when the time comes. So know that if you stay ready, you won't have to get ready. And you can walk in your purpose, you can walk in your passions, and you can walk in your dreams. Internal drive, intense focus, and face. There it goes. And sometimes with that internal drive, you have to, to reinforce it. You have to reinvigorate it by just fueling your passion. Throw, throw kindling on the fire if you have to. Throw paper on the fire if, uh, if you have to. Um, uh, yeah, well, as fast as he teaches. Yeah, 100%. Throw kindling on the fire, paper on the fire, keep that fire going so that way you can throw firewood and the fire of your passions and your dreams is just coming out so much that you are ready when it's time for you to walk in your goals. Thank y'all for joining my Periscope tonight. I truly appreciate it. Remember, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Check out my website, danielpferguson.com. What's up, PJ? I've got former motivational minutes in there. You're very welcome, Gustavo. JC, thank you for joining and listening in to Gustavo. You ready? I like it. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it together. I am proud of you guys. I can't wait to hear about your success. Hit me up on Facebook. Search Words Bring Life. Let me know your stories. Let me know what you're going through. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's do this together. Thank y'all for joining. If you're new to my scopes, follow me. I'm here every single solitary day. Been doing it for almost 130 straight days. And thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Yes, I'm ready. As SpongeBob said with his bachelor, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. So thank y'all again for joining. I'll see y'all tomorrow. And remember, words bring life. Speak them into existence. Your greatness is waiting. Take care. Later, Brian. Have a good one. What's up from Fred Finland? Check out the replay, share the replay, and let's do this together. Y'all have a good night. You're very welcome, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.